Peggy six. Shut up. Nobody's pegging anybody. There we go. Okay. Peggy sixteen. He's got a rating. Hello everyone. Thank you for Hello. taking the time to join us today. In this video, I'll show some footage of our new action RPG, Elden Ring. We hope it helps to convey a little of this title's mood and gameplay. Hold your horses. It's, it hasn't come out yet. Because I think Cyberpunk looked fine, but then came out, so... Careful with that. Is set here, in the lands between. Oh, just lands between. Okay. This is a site of grace, acting as a place of rest for the player. A bonfire. Okay. Occasionally, grace will manifest rays of guiding light. Cool. Oh. Of course. A double jump. To choose whether to follow this guidance. Can I collect mounts in this? in a different direction. Can I get a long boy? Hello. Whoa. Can I kill those all? All of them? That's cool. Oh yeah, there was a... I forgot about that. The network has the ammo! You said they are using the animations, but they are using the sounds as well. At least for now. They could read the player, uh, like the fan base opinions and just change the things before the actual game coming out, so it's fine. I don't think gonna, the speedrun is going to be that weird. I mean, not more weird than Dark Souls 3 and uh, Sekiro. That I haven't beaten actually. Oh, all right. So. Oh, it's the music from Lies of P. Okay. Okay, Mimir knockoff. Oh, oh shit! What is? What would that count as? Is that? Like an archer build? Or is it because it's a magic bow, is it gonna be a sorcerer kind of deal? Oops. I guess all the dragons are pretty much the same. Oh, that was a block with a roll. That's what's pretty cool. That's a new animation, I think. Horse, like mount fights are pretty cool. I think it's gonna be fun. Do a visceral right in the eye, perfect. I guess that's the same animation from DS3. Hello? Can you hear me? Help me. Onion Knight? Hello? Please, anyone? Onion Knight! Oh, my stars! I'm so happy to see you. Oh, wait. I thought he's underneath the bowl. Is he? He is the bowl, or is it at least his head maybe inside the bowl? Okay. This is bizarre. I like it. Do you need to find the shovel? Go. I guess that's pretty similar animation. Okay. I like that. Because, like, Dark Souls very... Like, had very little interactions between characters. You just stand next to each other. And that's it. Or if you attack them, you just fight. If there's gonna be more interactions, it would be fun. Nair? More fun? Stop loading every time I pause. Come on. Ah. Well played, good sir. Well played. So it's a pot night now. Not on you. Wallop of yours almost spelt the end of me. <laughs> ah. 
It's like when you come out of the catacombs in Dark Souls 3 and then see the city. It's kind of the same view. It's fantastic. Ooh, there is a map. Useful when exploring the world. No shit. Populated by acquiring map fragments. That's good. So you can have to open the area. Put markers on it. We can Under. use markers to customize the map, such as setting reminders for the location of crafting materials or dangerous enemies. So there could be a craft grind. Oh. Okay. Can also be placed to help with orientation. I'm all for the new mechanics. Beacons placed on the map appear in the world. That's good. That's what makes it easier. I guess that's how you go up. Yep. Look at that beautiful tree. Can be used while on horseback to launch high into the air. This allows for stress-free traversal of areas with a great deal of verticality. That is good, instead of going around 1500 miles. Well, like in most games that are uh, at least relatively open world, that you can put different beacons in, markers and stuff. I guess beacons, not markers are not everywhere. But yeah, Genshin has them. I, might, I guess Breath of the Wild, I'll believe you, I haven't played it. I don't have a Switch. Of any kind. You can survey the area. Can you over there is mark them like in Far Cry? An opportunity too good to pass up. The what? Treasure. An treasure. An opportunity too good to pass up. Okay. We'll prepare for combat with some item crafting using huh. materials found in the world. Familiar interface. So we need to, you can craft arrows. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky. I guess they took Sekiro. Oh. Part of, parts of Sekiro. Like what, that's what that reminds me of. That's good. I love when like game developers learn from their own uh, con not content, from their own developing, or, or their own projects, and then just build it, build it up more and more. Not unlike Dark Souls One, Two, and Three situation, where Two is just kind of a different game. But if it's a different IP, you can do anything. Just take some ideas from those previous games and just put them together with adding new ones. That's that's a fantastic thing to do. <laughs> yeah, maybe you can craft a glider. Maybe. Who knows? Huh. That was easy too. Enemy starts can be broken with heavy strikes, such as oh. attacking from above. I see. Oh shit, this is the storm ruler. A variety of unique attacks can also be interchanged between weapons. I wonder if the interface is hidden. I want that sword. That's the sword I'm going for. So I guess the 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 the, 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 the patrol we saw here. They were carrying the similar carriage. Carriage? Carriage? Whatever. Similar thing. So maybe if you can kill the guards and start guys around them, you can loot it. Like a special encounter kind of in thing, maybe? In situations, we can summon spirits to assist us in battle. Okay. I wish they... Very greatly in type. Like, this was weird. He summons them, in more perilous and the guards do nothing. Summon spirits to assist us in battle. And now guards do something. I wish when the summon happens, they start so reacting. And finding their personal favorites. Okay. You can jump.
Can you imagine if there's no stamina? And you can just go ham on everything? That would be weird. But maybe cool. Summons. Online multiplayer can also be enjoyed with players from other worlds. From cooperative to PvP oh. and invasions. No! Your friend died. Hey! Is this a boss route between the statues? No fall damage? Or at least not the same. Loot the guy! There's a, There was loot on the guy. Okay. Who's playing? Oh. Deadly creatures stalk this forest, so we'll use stealth to avoid detection. Okay. It's like the snakes that cover themselves in the thing. Also from Dark Souls 3. <laughs> Just went around. Oh, hello. Boss guarding this area. We'll take it on with the help of our co-op partner. This is like the the second boss of Sekiro. Wait, I annoy people with what? It is. I guarantee you. 18 FPS on my PC on low settings. Is this nameless king on a horse instead of a dragon? Oh, familiar cast. The Kamehameha. Oh, come on. You cut from that. Exploring this will be hell, but a good kind of hell. So there's no fall damage. That is. That makes, like, no death run easier. I have an NVIDIA 1066GB and uh, uh, AMD... FX 8350, 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. Mines and other dungeons can be found while out exploring the world. Like uh, what is it, 1600 hertz? These dungeons each hold their own secrets, from hidden treasures to fearsome bosses. Like it's, I can say it's mediocre for 2018, something like that. And it's me. I don't trust him. Is that uh, patches? Is that a mimic? It's not a mimic. Is the chain gonna be a thing again? Oh, he's summoned. Okay, maybe he's not patches then. An actual cutscene? Greetings, traveler. Is it the same voice actors the fog. as the Firekeeper? I am Melina. From Dark Souls 2, yeah, I know. We changed from green to black hood. You have like a makeup spill. I oh. offer you an accord. That's a car. An accord. Huh. What are we in this game? Undead. A Unburned. Scale dungeon which connects seamlessly with the surrounding Limgrave region. Nation. What is the adjective they're gonna use for? It? Is it a noun? Maybe.
Hello, creepy guy. You, you, you're tarnished, aren't you? Tarnished? We are tarnished. Oh, a Honda Accord, okay. I'll take any car, to be honest. It's tightly guarded by hardened old hands. Can you imagine... <laughs> imagine you driving this world in a Honda Accord, shooting out a window with your magic bow? And just a sword? No, oh, that would be great. In the co-op, you can put the pass <laughs> people on the passenger seats in the back and front. I'll be GTA, but with the bows. That would be amazing. Just do a drive-by by some random pedestrian monsters. Try the opening right here. Every Friday is Black Friday. Oh, you mean discounts? Uh, I guess that didn't really make sense what I said. What, whatever. Yes. In some shops. Or maybe you meant something else, I don't know. We'll enter the amount of Honda Accord. No, I'll use the main entrance. Fair enough. <laughs> like, you don't have to trust me. Well, if you must go through the gates, I'll signal them to open. But of course, I'd advise against it. Now oh, fuck off. I'm a big boy, I can do my own decisions. And I just get killed in the, right in front of the gate. Who is he? Why would they listen? Yeah, it's the... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it was the other entrance. I'm assuming here. It seems risky, so we'll try entering through a back way. Oh, thanks, I forgot you were that commentator. Loot the fucking... That annoys me. Oh, yeah, I have mods, I forgot about mods. Really? Use your MP or whatever on the one guy? You two-hitted him and then you used MP. Ah. Judging by how many weapons he holds at the same time and role being the same there's possibly no weight that affects you similar to bloodborne oh they're the, the guys extra care should be taken when moving through dungeons as visibility and terrain differ from when in the open but that we other players enjoy getting a feel for the different types of areas and coming up with suitable strategies for each players will... okay hello that also very bloodborne there is i remember i think Yeah, he doesn't pick up shinies. What the fuck? Who playing this? Why if it's like a publisher or the inter not the interviewer, like a journalist playing? It's always like the worst gameplay you can have. Fucking up something something simple or actually just not doing what normal players will do. You can show off the loot animation, the loot you can get from picking up shit. The jump. Dungeons are complex and multi-layered, meaning they can be tackled from a number of routes. And that is cool. Can just Assassin's Creed the main boss? Oh, hello. Hi. Big Hat Logan. Nice to meet you. The pleasure's mine. Roger is the name. Okay. This place is bristling with tarnished hunters, you know. They sacrifice our kind for grafting. Not exactly a place I'd stroll into without a purpose in mind. Did he say for crafting? Can I kill him and craft him into a nice... I don't know, spear? Oh, shit. I want a harpy, but it's just a bird. Nice, Perry. Nice.
fuck, you can just go whenever, can't you? So cool. No fall damage, I would fucking jump everywhere. Fuck Spider-Man Miles Morales I wanted to play, I'm gonna play this. In this next boss fight, we challenge one of the demigods, ruler of Stormvale, Godric the Golden. That's big words. <laughs> yeah, he did turn himself into a spear. Is this the guy? Is this Osiris? It has six fingers. Well. The mouth opens. Oh, this was in the trailer, I forgot. Oh, he's bigger than I thought. Uh oh. I, thee, I was surprised he had six fingers. He has fifteen hands. Midas? Why is your only one axe is golden? That sounds like God of War music. I think because it's more oral than orchestral. Is that how people do it? Vocal, not oral. Yeah, you are right. Oh, shit. Okay, so you can summon people to help like that and they can die. Just wait for an opening, my guy. Whoa! I love that. If it's like a second phase, I fucking love phases in boss fights. Also, Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3 are the best, in, in my opinion. I am HO. I love just fight turns on on the dime. Thank you for watching. Oh, it's been 20 minutes. Introduction to Elden Ring's fundamentals. Uh -huh. But more details will be revealed at a later date. There's not long to go now before release. In the meantime, we greatly appreciate your continued support. Oh, thank you. The tarnished will soon return. Lands between. Oh. Is that also a demigod? They will fight. Oh, big boy. And they will die. Technically they all are big boys, but that's the biggest boy. Is a champion to be born. But true? See if... Sorry. <laughs> I love that. Usually the trailer will show off how powerful the character is, but then... Like Dark Souls trailers, so like the Demon Soul one had him die to the first boss, like the tutorial boss. But I think that's the point in the game as well. This one just cool jump and gets grabbed and fucked up. Love that. I I haven't finished Sekiro, so I don't know. Yeah, 25th February. We are now and get a digital adventure guide and bonus gesture. <sighs> Fuck the pre-order bonuses, man. Anything else? Ooh, a collector's edition. Okay. Help. A woman statue. Melinia. Is that the girl you're helping? Who gives you the Honda Accord? She's a fighter of some kind? Game, the exclusive steel book, 40 page hardbook, hardbook. Oh, that's pretty cool. Digital soundtrack. Hmm. Deluxe edition, the game, digital hardbook, and soundtrack. This is the game. 
adventure guide. Pre order now and get the digital adventure guide. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I like if they thank you like 1500 times. Oh. So if you swear in chat, it's going to not show your comment. That's great. That's good to know. Just a slight swear and that's it. This is good though. Just go a big open world vertical. A lot of verticality to it as well. But a lot also a lot of ways to explore the verticality by like doing that wind thing to go up and having at least somewhat no fall damage. Maybe it depends on the height. So you can't just jump off a mountain and be fine, but you can jump off a small cliff and be fine. Maybe people already know that because of the network test, but I haven't seen anything. I usually don't want to spoil the game as much as I can, so it'll be the clean experience. But in the same time, it's from software game, so what the fuck does anything mean? Bonus emote, it's you jerking off the developer for pre-ordering the game. I don't know. Maybe six fingers. You just do the Bruce Almighty when he, he pulls the hand out of your back. Behind, from behind his back and it's like seven fingers on the same, same hand. One hand, whatever. Anyway, this is... Oh. Now I need somebody to donate me 60 bucks.